What's good, everybody? Welcome to another, um, I still don't, I still, every time I gotta do this, I still don't know what I'm gonna call it. Another TCGO, um, battle thing we will be doing today. So, um, let's go and check this. Um, like I said, I do record these a day ahead, so since we did this, since I recorded last night, we have nothing to pick up today, uh, in that. So, without further ado, let us see who we can, um, try to beat today. So we have Go Prone Me. Oh, okay. And he's also running a water deck, so we have no advantage this time. Do, do, do. Yes, let's go first. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and put a Reg Ice up here to get that strong going off the bat. If, just in case he decides to lead with an EX, uh, we'll be able to paralyze it hopefully next turn. Um, and then Resistance Blizzard all the way for a win. <sighs> Man. Okay, she's leaving with Articuno. Not bad. Alright, we have a lot of energies here. I'm gonna go ahead and in out. Let's see if we can get. Alright, not bad. Not bad. And we do get the blast toys here. I'm gonna go ahead and load blast toys up as well, um, and then we'll end our turn with that. We are. Oh, it isn't the um, crap. It's not the. Uh, um. Hmm. Let's see what should we do here? Let's do this. Can we get... Uh, hmm. So he knows the Lysander is coming. Um, he can't do Tri-Edge to us. However, he can Chilling Sigh us. And we do have our Versus Seekers, so we are good to Lysandra, uh, twice. Can we get the heads? Yeah, we get the heads. So this plan's coming along pretty good. Um, we are doing pretty well right now, so let's go ahead and get Blastoise out here. And let's go ahead and go ahead and Resistance Blizzard. We're good to do this. This Red Ice is a monster on our team right now. So, I am pretty uh, impressed with how Red Ice performed. I, I kind of added him, kind of like, whatever, but he's carrying our team, actually. Him and Prim our last match, we had Primarina do a lot of the work. Um, let's go ahead, and I don't want to give that to him just yet. Resistance Blizzard again. Okay, you put Vanillix out. Or Vanillite, my bad. Okay, so Blastoise is dead this turn. Um, oh, and we get Conceived, so there we go. We get another win with this deck. And we get 50 coins. We'll see, we'll, hopefully we'll be able to get a pack. We're only three minutes in, so let's go ahead and do another... Oh, we did get it. I don't know why the bar's not loading. So let's see here. We did get the Poly World... Or poly, um, poly toad trio, so that's nice. We'll check him out later, but uh, let's go ahead and do another match. <laughs> you got a city puppy over there. The camera looks off angle a little bit, that's weird. Oh well, we'll fix it later. <laughs> okay, so he's got the advantage here. He's running a normal, which could be a Dragonite EX been seeing that a lot lately as I'm playing online with the hyper beam that is stupid broken. It's, only, it's four colorless energies. Okay, so let's see here. I'm gonna go ahead and leave with Lapras GX. Oh, and we get a mulligan card, so let's go ahead and leave with Lapras. Um, and we're gonna put Kyogre on the bench, as well as Bruxish. Bruxish, whatever, however you pronounce it. And we do have the Primarina and the Rare Candy. 
So all we need now is Poplio. Let's kind of see what we're running with here. All right. Just standard cards. He does have Lysandra. We do see a Lysandra. Um, so that is something to worry about. But I'm not too I'm not too concerned with it right this moment. I do want to draw another card, and we do get the Bridget. So uh, and we have the Pidgeot EX here with Mirror Move 170. And how much can we do? We can do 160. Okay, so it doesn't matter now, he ended us out. So hopefully we get the Theory Fighting Belt, so we can kill this Pidgeot EX in one hit. This is what I would like to see. Okay, so we do have, we do have Reg Ice right here. I'm gonna put Reg Ice up. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and equip right here, and we will do a Misty. And I'm gonna get rid of our Revive, so we've lost our Revive right here, but can we get the Fury Fighting Belt. We, can, we do not see the Fury Fighting Belt, but I am going to go ahead and grab a double colorless energy for Reg Ice. And we will draw three cards um, from Lapis GX. And we do not get the Fury Fighting Belt, but we did get the, we did know that was what we were going to get right there, so. Because I don't believe, yeah, we don't believe, I don't believe we um, shuffle the whole deck, just those cards back in, so. Um, let us see what he does. Oh, he's got the Secret Rare Lapras. Not bad. Or it's not Secret Rare, that's just a different art, is it? Yeah, 139 and 149. 135, okay. So we do have this. Go ahead and hop you on here. Um... We can't do anything, obviously, this turn, but, huh. I think there's anything we should do. Now, nah, the best bet is to go ahead and collect. We do get a Team Flare Grunt. Okay. I do really want to get the Fury and Fighting Belt on Lapras GX, just because I don't want to take the extra hit. I don't want to waste, well... What is he going to do? Is he going to do 80 to us? Feather Lance? So we're going to take, I think we're going to end up taking 160 here. See, I should have just left one energy on Lapras and switched out to Red Ice. That was a bad, this is a bad play. And we gotta watch out for that 20 damage right there. That fucked us over last time. Actually, you know what we will do? I will... Who has the most retreat cost? We have one. We have one. So he's going to take maximum of three turns. We can kill this Lapras here. Our retreat cost is two. I'm going to go ahead and switch. Get him to switch Lapras out. So we have Lapras GX is out now. I'm going to go ahead and attach. Um, I'm just going to do one energy right now so he doesn't fuck us right here. And I will go ahead and reveal the second Reg Ice. Um, and then I'm going to collect. We're safe to collect right now, because he can't switch out unless he puts double card on the And even if he does, it's okay. And we do have the Poplio now. I'm going to put Poplio up there. Um, just to put him up there. So if we do get the Primarina, we can pop Primarina out like that. Because right now we only have... Yeah, we have two energies, three energies gone out of our 13. So we have 10 more to work with. You're out here, right here. We are going to Olympia out into Reg Ice. I'm telling you, this Reg Ice is a broken card. Let's see what we can get here. And we do get the Fury Fighting Belt.
And I'm going to equip it to... Um... I mean, there's no point in not equipping it to Regice. As far as I can see right here, there's no point in not doing that. I mean, I hate that we're using Regice. I mean, I don't hate that we're using Regice so much. Um, and I don't want to say this deck was built around this Regice, because I literally just added it in because I was like, EX protection. Um, but I don't just want to sit up around this Regice here. This is an angry looking Lapras. The card's cool, but it's an angry looking Lapras. He's gonna heal a Lapras? Oh, there's no more damage. He's just prolonging it right there. Do we draw the Primarina? We do draw this though. Let's go and get the Max Elixir out. And we will go ahead and put this on Poplio. And we're gonna go ahead and beef up our Lapras here. Um. I do want to go ahead and kill this Lapras right here, because we could, what I was going to do, <coughs> is we could burst the Seeker, get the Lysandra back, switch out to Pidgeot, and go ahead and work on him, because we're set right here with Lapras GX, he can't touch us right here, he's going to go ahead and use Collect. So that will end his turn. With that, his Lapras is gone. We do see we will collect the two prize cards. We get how and a four Articuno. And right now we are rocking um, extra. See, he needs to get this Raichu out and do damage on us because he can't do anything. We do see the type of Coco GX with 170, but our Lapras GX is what we're going to use to kill that. Oh, we won't because I, oh, I should have put the Fury Fighting Belt onto Lapras. I shouldn't have gone for the extra damage. It doesn't really matter. So I think our Red Trice is dead right here. points of damage, holy Christ. I am going to go ahead and send out our Lapras GX. Um, and what I think I'm going to do, I should have put the Fury Fighting Belt on that, that was a big mistake. I got too, I got too confident in the Red Ice. I'm going to go use Ice Beam GX. Oh, I did that too early. I should have drawn first. Oh, well. So he won't be able to attack us this turn. Yeah, I really should have put the... Fuck, that was a bad, bad play on my behalf. I hope he doesn't have a... As long as he doesn't have a Nurse Joy in his hand, we're good. Okay, and he's going for a Swamper, I see here. But his turn should end. We need to get this Red Eye set back. We need to get this Red Eye set up. Either this or Primarina. We need to get Primarina out. Well, actually, I'm not too worried because we can... Actually, what is... Oh, I'm not worried about that then. Alright, 
so it's our turn again. We do have in here. I don't want to in out just yet. Uh, so we will play Hal. And we do get the Swampert combo. And that is an option. I want to hold out. I'm going to put Mudkip on here just in case. But I'm going to hold out until we see if we can get the Primarina going. Um, but I will attach one more energy. So now we have a full Primarina set up. Um, and I'm, we are free to Lizard Burn this top of Coco. The only thing is it leaves us open next turn unless we switch out. And we do get the double Carless, which is huge for Reg Ice. So we do see the Pidgeot EX come out, which, to be honest, is kind of a bad play on his behalf. Oh. Oh, you can put two on this one. But we will be unable to attack next turn. Now he's going to take our Poplio out. Did we get the Primarina? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hook up Regice here. I'm going to retreat out. Um, we am going to Team Flare. I'm going to pop an energy onto Regice. I don't want to rare candy yet, and then we are going to end our turn there. And then next turn, we've got Resistance Blizzard on. Regice is just a really, really good answer to any EX he can put out there. So that stops him from setting up his Swampert. But he's done after this. He has three turns. If he hits us in turn, we draw two cards, but we're protected after this. Now he will be trying to take out our Poplio here. We got both rare candies. There's now no point in not putting the Swamper on the deck. Mudkip is safe, we now have our Swampert, and we now will beef Reggie Ice up, um, and we will Resistance Blizzard, and we're good right here. Poplio can take a couple more hits, we can take one more turn of this, unless we don't get the, um, how many cards does he have left? He has 24, and we have like 23, 18, we have 18. That's broken right there. You can get three energies up on that Swampert. Now is he gonna switch out and attack? So one retreat cost, that's pretty good. See in this situation I would switch out because he's That does 40 plus plus uh 30 more? That's crazy. Red Ice will be dead if he switched out the Swampert. He'd be stupid to not switch out. Okay, there you go. He did switch out. That's what I thought. That's what I was saying. So, Red Ice is gone. Uh, I am going to send out... We're stocking off Poplio. I'm gonna stock off Poplio. Unless we get Premier this turn, I'm stocking off Poplio. Yeah, we didn't get it. I'm pretty sure I have a feeling Premier is in there. Um, but I'm going to. We're gonna use Lapras GX to kill it. What is it, 140? Yeah. Um, actually, uh, no, I don't want to do, I don't want to do that yet. I 
Here's what we're gonna do. Because we could potentially kill him this turn if we get the Primarina. But, with, let's see here. Let's go ahead and use Misty's Determination. Let's get rid of in. Do we see Primarina here? We do not see the Primarina. But we do have the Acrobike, and I will pick up the Acrobike here. So we can look at the next card. And we'll go ahead and take the Floatstone. Just for the chance we can get... I'm pretty sure Primarina is in here. Um, but we will be sacking off Poplio. There's no point in not water gunning. But Poplio will be dead this turn, and then we will be sending out uh, Lapras GX. Oh, good play. I forgot to hit the Lysandra. That was a good play. I think he might have us. We need Primarina to win then. Unless Lapras lives this, it's to this Pokemon, isn't it? No, Lapras is dead. Ah, I forgot about the Lysandra. That sucks, we need to kill. Because Primarina's in here. Which is stupid. I mean, he does have four, he does have two now. We could potentially still win. Question is now, who do I send out? I'm gonna send out Poplio. That'd be the quickest. I think we still have a good chance here. Um, let's go ahead and... He doesn't have any energies. Okay, he does have an in in his hand. He does have a crushing hammer. So we do need to go ahead and... We do need to set up Swampert. Unless we can find a... We have Blastoise, and that's it. Yeah, we don't need Blastoise right now. We need Prim Primarina's in here. Unless we escape rope out. But there's no point in doing that right now. I mean, we could escape rope. Let's do that. We sent out Pidgeot. I'm gonna send out Bruxious. And then we are good to end our turn here. Yeah, we're gonna end here. It depends what he does here. Because Bruxious will live two turns here. So he knows we're trying to set up Swampert. He has one energy left. Is he going to switch out? Or is he going to attack? He needs to switch out here to beat us. No, he didn't. Oh shit, Poppy was dead. We can't let Bruxious die. This isn't be close. This is gonna be very, very, very close. So what needs to happen is we need to switch out Bruxious this turn.
I don't think we're gonna win this. Because Brux just can't take the 80 okay. straight on, but Poplio can. And then when Poplio dies, we're sent out Swampert to do the work. So he, he needs to stay in the Pidgeot for us to win. Oh, fuck. So he's got 30. We might not win this. That was a huge, huge, huge play. That's not good. Kill this Voltorb here. So what do we do? We need to get this Pidgeot dead, but we've we've lost. Wait, no, we haven't. Because he has no, he has one left. Yeah, we've lost. I'm gonna do it to the Pidgeot, but there's no point. Unless for some reason he switches out, but we still, I don't think we can live this Swampert. Pidgeot's dead next turn, and we win next turn. If he switches out. Or Pidgeot's not dead next turn, but if he switches out, for some reason we win. But I don't think he, he's, there's no reason to do that. Because Bruxius will die, and he's got one card left. He has to hit us with Swamper. That was weird. Is it it's water energy, right? We might live this. I don't want to do the math, but Yeah, we've lost. We hit the we got the discard right there. Yeah, 180. We were we couldn't win that. Good game to you, my dude. Good game to you. That was impressive. He pulled that out. He pulled that back from him. Um he did a good bit of damage to us, so. Good game, good game, but we do have time, we are 28 minutes in, but we will go ahead and we will open a pack, um, because we have enough coins, so we will go ahead and open a pack, uh, newest set right here, redeem, confirm, let's go to our collection and open this bitch up. So we did get eight. We got a Salandit, Murkrow, Delibird, Rockruff, Snowrunt, Alolan Graveler, Sudowoodo, Rescue Stretcher, Machoke is our reverse foil, and our rare in the pack was a Sogalio. With Shining Arrow, this is 50 damage from one of your opponent's Pokemon, and Bangs of the Soon. This Pokemon can't use Bangs of the Soon during your opponent's or during your next turn, so. Not bad. I'm glad we don't have the Sogalio. I don't think so. Um, but yeah, so unfortunately we, we are with one win and one loss uh, this episode. So if you guys enjoyed watching as much as I enjoyed sitting here and playing it, make sure you show, show your support down below and leave a like. Uh, make sure you subscribe for more content like this. And with that, guys, I will see you guys tomorrow. 
and I'm going to get up out.